Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Emma and I'm doing lifestyle and motherhood videos. Today I am coming with a little bit of like spring related video because spring is coming, Easter is coming and uh, time just flies, okay? So, I am not sure how I'm going to title this video but I did a little bit of research of what other people are posting and right now there is like lots of what I got my kids uh, for Easter in their Easter basket and uh, lots of cleaning and decorating videos and what can I say this video is not going to be any of it and I will tell you why in a second I have those eggs with me which I have to fill with some chocolate and as I do, maybe I will talk to you a little bit. Because what I like to do most is talk. So, yeah, like I said, this video is not going to be cleaning video or decorating video. Because I am not buying anything new. Any new decorations. Any, you know, I am not doing any baskets for my children's either this is all what they're gonna get because i know that my mother-in-law got them even more chocolate and and some clothes and who knows what what else so i just feel like i don't need to do it my kids are three years old and i'm 20 months old so they don't need it like it's more for parents i feel like all this chocolate, all this sugar, it's going to be enough. I saw on those videos baskets full of uh, chocolates and chocolate bars, like full. Like even I wouldn't be able to eat that much. Plus, my younger daughter, when she eats too much sugar, then she wakes up at night and cries. Maybe she has like a bad dreams or can't sleep. So you know what? They don't need it. Maybe when they are older, they will get more stuff in their baskets. But as of right now, I know that they will have a lot of fun as it is. We are planning to go outside and like hide them everywhere. And they will look for them. So they will definitely have a lot of fun. Also, I don't buy any spring decorations this year. Simply because... I'm saving money guys, like I am on a contract, I don't know when my contract is gonna actually end, it should end at the end of March, but I think it's going to be longer, but I don't know any details yet, how much longer, so you know, I have to be cautious, conscious about my spendings, but yeah. And plus, I don't want to really go to the store either. Like, the virus is crazy right now. The numbers are, are raising, even that a lot of people it's already vaccinated. It's still not safe to go anywhere. Actually, I hear that they may put us in a full lockdown again right before Easter, just like a year ago, guys. I made a nice vlog a year ago from the Easter and I can't believe it's already a year where we are in this mess let me know in the comments down below how did you spend Easter last year I know that the whole world was in a lockdown so I am really wondering how it is you know the forecast for this year probably not much better who would think right Both the stressor behind me in October, doing actually Vlogtober, and uh, I don't like it. I'm actually looking for the IKEA, I think it's called Marma with the glass. I have a black one, and I always wanted a white one along the way one for my husband and one for myself. But I bought this one instead, and it's just too small. It's like it's it's old, refinished, but you know the pockets the drawers are so small that i can't fit anything over there and i don't know i, I wish i i 
just went to Ikea but because of those lockdowns it's always closed or when they finally open there's like a thousand people there and you just can't get in so it is what it is I have to deal with that but yeah let's go and declutter right now so this is what I have in the drawers mess <laughs> everything is everywhere but I think there's nothing really to declutter. Let's see. I'm wearing all the pants. I'm wearing all the shirts. This is a new one I bought. It's still with a with a mm, thing. It's from Casco. Casco has such a good clothes. Do you guys agree with me? Do you go to Casco for clothing? Because I do really nice perfect for summer this one is from a, what is it called call oh, not way far wish this is from wish and it's great but I got it like late fall and never had the chance to wear it but this is how it looks like it's a bodysuit. Really nice. So I can't wait when I'm ready to wear it. I think from this drawer I am going to declutter this sweater. It's from H&M. It was pretty cool back in the day but I wore it for so long, so many times. That's just completely lost, lost the colors and the uh, and I don't know, it's just ugly now, so I will let it go. The next shirt I am going to let it go. It's this one. I didn't wear it in years, guys. So just goodbye. Next thing I am letting go, it's this shirt. I don't really like this belt over here and uh, I just know I'm not gonna wear it so let, let's let it go. <coughs> Next shirt, it's this one. It was very pretty but now it's just ugly. The material got very nasty and uh, I will let it go. This closet over here, it's a mishmash. I definitely have to, definitely have to clean it up because I'm kind of getting lost over there to be honest. So let's see what I have over there, okay? Please, no judgment over here because it might be a little bit of a disaster over there. This is my husband's side over here. I'm not gonna touch it. This is also his. Okay, this is mine. This looks horrible already. All of the work clothes I of course going to keep. This is one of my favorite. Work shirt, work shirt, work, 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 work. Beautiful dress. Here is summer dress. I'm gonna keep it. Work. I don't really like it. I never really wear it, so I don't know. What should I do with that? Another dress. Summer dress. Shirt. Dress. Okay, I never wear this because it's way too hot. But if I ever go cottage, then it's perfect. So I don't know what should I do about that. This dress is way too small for me. So I think I should let it go. 
this is not my dress this is my sister's you know i have to give it back another dress another shirt shirt work and um, occasional dress so i look through those pockets already and there is nothing to declutter i think i am doing pretty well and you know pretty ways what i know what i am going to declutter a hundred percent it's uh, my bathing suits because they just don't fit me very well like last time when i went to uh i don't know i don't know why i put it on anyway <laughs> last time when i went to mexico my breasts were much bigger because of breastfeeding and now I don't know, maybe before I declutter it, I should put it on and double check if it's still bad. But those underwear, guys, this is like a grandma underwear. It's supposed to be like nice up to here because I wanted to hide my belly. But, but I don't need it anymore. So I don't know, maybe I will just get rid of the underwear. Let me know what you think. This is uh, for a party. But there is no party to go. What else over here? Those are quite nice. You know, sometimes when you look into your closet, you find stuff you had no idea you had. So that's cool. Okay. So I think that's it with my decluttering. It's really not that much. So this year I have decided to have some plants finally. I don't know if I have ever mentioned but whatever life plant I had it always died on me. And I am happy and proud to announce that I have this one over here and this plant over here alive for quite some time now and it's doing great. That's like a really big deal for me because like I said I always killed all of my plants i have a what's that called a tulips growing in the back of my house and i am so happy i am checking every single day how big they are let me know in the, down in the comments if you have any garden if you like planning to do any spring garden and the flowers maybe vegetables later on in the summer i am really curious because that's what i am planning to do this year so this definitely qualify as a you know spring getting ready and that's why i am talking about that in this spring kind of vlog i want to bring like more life into my house because i really feel like plants brings a lot of positive uh, energy and oxygen and it's just it's just nice like over here behind the couch i don't know if you can see yeah, like that. Behind the couch, I am planning to do a big long shelf full of family albums and also more plants, but I just need someone to do that uh, shelf for me. But once it's ready, I think that living room will be complete and uh, I just cannot wait for that. So here is like another kind of spring, um, I don't know, like first beard. <laughs> I don't know what did I say that. Like I have a chives over here or like green onions, however you call it. And they are already growing quite big. So, you know, soon they will be big enough to like use it for food and for cooking. And I just absolutely can't wait for that. As you can see, I'm only wearing sweater. It's a little bit windy today and it's definitely going to rain but it's warm enough guys to just go like that and that's also something what you know makes me happy and uh, i know that summer is soon and this horrible winter is finally over dinner i am making a stir fry with my favorite vegetables i will be honest here i bought them from the package already pre-cut pre-washed everything so i just have to put them to the wok 
and I will use my favorite sauce teriyaki in this case but you can use whichever sauce you like and also I will add some noodles as well and just work it is that the, that the word that's how you call it until it's uh, nice and soft all my family likes it even my kids I know in fact that they will be um, they will eat all the carrots and all the broccoli but my older daughter will probably will be fussy about the kale over there and will even or will ask me to take it out of her plate oh it's a little bit annoying when she doesn't but kids be kids and I can't blame her for that but overall it's one of my favorite dish you can add tofu or chicken whatever you like but today we will only eat it without protein I know it's bad because we always eat, need protein but I don't know I just don't feel like to cook anything else so we have to be happy with what we have and if they don't like it they can cook themselves not the kids but my husband my spring getting ready let me know in the comments down below how you getting ready for spring are you going crazy like crazy like whatever like do whatever you are comfortable with more or less i choose to do less because i don't need like that push that you have to clean the entire house in like every single corner and whatnot just because it's spring and everything is you know like getting alive again and waking up <laughs> from the winter sleep anyway my tip for you is just you know what take a break instead of rushing and uh, prioritize stuff if you feel overwhelmed by the amount of um, stuff you have then of course go ahead and de declutter everything what you need to but if you like maintaining kind of I wouldn't say minimize lifestyle because I have a lot of stuff, but I have I have just the right amount of stuff, okay? I don't feel like I have too much stuff that it makes me feel extremely uncomfortable because it's not the thing at all. I, I, I'm pretty happy with what I have and with the amount I have. But if, it's, uh, if you feel like you have too much, then definitely go ahead. But on the other hand, if, if you are okay, then that's it. Once it gets warmer, I am going to wash my windows. And, uh, and you know, when it's coming to like a deep cleaning, you know what, like you should not do it on occasions. Maybe you do it like every three months or so and then you don't feel like you have to, you know? Because if you won't do it, then then what? Like that's, that shouldn't be the case. You should do whatever you're comfortable with. Again. So, yeah, this is it for today's uh, vlog. Kind of random, I would say, but if you like it, then give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you here. And I hope I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>